there we're at the Anarcho Scottish Folk Festival. It'll give its full title. It's the first session of the festival. It kind of marks a year on the road for me. Uh, I've got Johnny Campbell, one of the organisers of this event, and uh, and thanks, Johnny. You, uh, you invited us in the in the first place, I think. Uh, Don and I, the Slim Panatellas, we played last year, yeah. and uh, here we are. We're, we're all back here again. We've been putting up tents today, haven't we? Yeah, I've been here for a few days now since Monday. Today is Thursday. Yeah. Um, there's quite a lot to go on still. Um, so all the pretty much all the tents have been. There's a there's a moose cocktail for you. <laughs> all right, thank you. Yeah, um, tell me what you think of that. That's very nice. Yeah, so we're nearly nearly all finished, really. Yeah. So we've got a lot of the tents up. A few of the stages still to build left with the, for the music. Lots yeah. of workshops um, on many things like home brewing, anarchism, foraging, and just general. Um, Kind of activism on many different levels. Yeah, really. yeah, just stuff that uh, that helps us uh, enable ourselves. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, rather than looking <laughs> elsewhere for for any help because it's not coming these days, is it? Absolutely, the whole the whole ethos is to kind of like step outside of what um, of, of what's kind of expected, really. So we we can mm. bypass the whole system and actually create something that's very positive. Uh, I think too much going on at the moment is, um, which is which is also needed, is uh, tackling things head on. But also, if you just bypass things and create a vision for the alternative, yeah. um, I think that's a, a good start as well. Yeah, and just closing the door. It sounds like we're in a we're in a boat. But that's <laughs> the awning that's creaking and rattling just now, Johnny. Uh, you are, of course, apart from all of that, a travelling musician mm. as well. Would you give us a song? Do you fancy setting the... Yeah, let's set the, set the tone, really. Of set the tone, the, yeah. um, What the whole festival's about, but also uh, what I like to think what life's about, too. And basically about travelling, too. So this is a song that I wrote uh, last year in uh, Delaware in America. And it's yeah. a song about friendship, looking after each other, and travelling. So it's called Wanderlust. I've been traveling a long and dusty road where Woody and other folks did go. To earn a dollar or a dime, hoping folks are kind Where the outstretched arms of solidarity lie And the ever-changing leaves match the lives we lead Going down this long and dusty road Through backwoods, through city and through town It's there they say that New York wears the crown but the jewels of the east are found in dirty streets Where the gamblers of your soul, they do not roam And a gentle lilting breeze dances through the trees In Delaware, Pittsburgh, New York town Yeah, my pockets are light and my heart is the same From Massachusetts, Maryland and Maine Yeah, my pockets are light and my heart is the same Gentle as the wind that sweeps the plain Gentle as the wind that sweeps the plain And one day I'll find that golden track To the ones who keep the demons off my back And in times of misery or a distant memory Where the rivers they run wild and free And a true lover's kiss is purer than this The whiskey that flows through these veins yeah, my pockets are light and my heart is the same From Massachusetts, Maryland and Maine Yeah, my pockets are light and my heart is the same Gentle as the wind that sweeps the plain Gentle as the wind that sweeps the plain Yeah, my pockets 
gets a lot of my heart is the same From Massachusetts, Maryland and Maine Yeah, my pockets a lot of my heart is the same Gentle as the wind that sweeps the plain Gentle as the wind that sweeps the plain Yeah, my pockets a lot of my heart is the same From Massachusetts, Maryland and Maine yeah, my pockets a lot and my heart is the same Gentle as the wind that sweeps the plain 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 Beautiful Johnny, Johnny Campbell here in the medicine show Moose and uh, drawing heavily on uh, Woody Guthrie's spirit in that mm. particular song. Yeah. Uh, and why not? I mean in this time he would, he was born out of a time of real need mm. and depravity and a real need to organise. Absolutely yeah. Um, I mean Woody Guthrie, um, big inspiration of what I what I do. I like to try and mix lots of different styles of the folk genre which is incredibly broad yeah um so i mainly take a lot of um irish folk music english folk music um and try and add some kind of like punk a bit more of a punk edge really and try yeah. and bring it to modern times yeah yeah and uh and and music's always carried uh well i i, I would imagine that nobody in woody guthrie's time would would have been as punk as Woody Guthrie actually. No, I wouldn't say so. No. Yeah, he would that was an edge. That was a cutting edge. Yeah. You know, and from my perspective, what's encouraging is that the he was seen as a uh disruptive mm. uh influence mm. and now uh this land is your land is a second American national anthem, basically. Yeah. It's the anthem of the people rather than the anthem of a nation. Yeah, I think uh, one of the things with Woody Guthrie is that um, he he possibly like em embodied the whole American dream kind of thing. Yeah. With the idea of someone who, um, you know, even though he ended up penniless, but yeah. he kind of did what he wanted to do. He rode the railroads, um, played his music, and that's kind of like now um, kind of like become what a lot of people kind of aspire to, the people who um, he'll, he'll do what he wanted to do and... Freedom. People look, people look towards that, yeah, absolutely. Freedom. Yeah. Freedom from... Uh, freedom from a system that has that does not care, yeah. basically. And and highlighting the points on, in that system that are, are uh, sore, mm. that just don't work, mm. basically don't work. And this is what we're and we're back at the Anarcho Festival when we think about that, because uh, you know, it, but people say uh, uh, anarchy is a a word that has a bad press in many mm. ways, isn't it? Yeah. It's uh, it, people tend to dismiss anarchy as uh, help me out lawless. Lawless. Yeah. And it isn't, is it? Is it? It's like everybody's voice all coming together and one to absolutely to, to organise and be creative. Yeah, I mean, this this whole event is is all about community. It's about all about um, equal individuals uh, coming to a, coming together for a, you know a collective yeah. basis, a collective need to um, create a small subculture, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully that will spread out with the amount of international music that we've got here. People f um, coming from the United States, Italy, um, Netherlands, yeah, France, France, Finland, France, Finland so. So the the music, uh, we're on. We're not even in day one, really. It's it's Thursday. Other people are invited to mm. to if they've got a ticket. That is to to come tonight. Yeah, it's easy enough to get here. Uh, it will be on your ticket. It is on all the information how to get here. It's in a beautiful spot. Eh? Mm. It really is an extraordinary place. Uh, do you know of any other ones like this around around Europe or around um, America as well? Similar on kind of on thing? a different scale. Uh, yeah. This was. The reason why this exists is um, the, the person who owns um, the site mm -hmm. and myself and Bar, who's one of the organisers, we went to Amsterdam to the Amsterdam Anarcho Folk Festival. Yeah. And even though that was in a that was in a squatted building in the centre of Amsterdam, um, a lot of the same principles um, 
talked about community and putting on alternative music. Yeah. Happened over the course of uh, a couple of days, uh, uh, I think. Um, wanted to create something like this in in the UK, and it happened to be here in Scotland. Yeah, cool. So. Yeah, well, it is. It's very cool, and, and hopefully, uh, as you say, it will spread out from here. And I know people that came here last year that go away with that have gone away with that idea. And there's one or two people showing up that were here last year as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a few, yeah. Yeah. So looking forward to the music that uh, that you've collated for us this year mm. as well, Johnny. Looking forward to your performances as well. And uh, James too. So thanks again for the invite. Thank you. Uh, before you do us a song, if you would do another one for us, uh, where can people find information on the the Anarcho movement and, and yourself as well? Maybe just mm. yourself and then there's links on um, your website, isn't there? Yeah, you can find me quite easily on uh, Facebook, um, Twitter, and uh, YouTube. Um, Johnny Campbell. Yeah. I'm based in Yorkshire, so you can probably type that in yeah. and find that out. So, yeah. uh, Facebook.com forward slash Johnny Campbell Music. Excellent. Um, well, I do advise everybody to get involved and uh, check out your music as well. You got another song for us? Yeah. Um, as you mentioned, I like to do quite a bit of travelling with my. Uh, music and this is a song that I wrote in Copenhagen and the song is called Copenhagen Girls. Farewell Copenhagen girls, off to Mzavin Cherry girls, then I lost my dearie as I came out by North Sea land. Heard a fair maid morning, she was making sad complaint that a true love never returning. Farewell, Copenhagen girls, off times I've been cheery. Farewell, Copenhagen girls, then I lost my dearie. Search for gold across the sea, it's off that I'm forsaken. Whispered words come from the east, from the shores of Copenhagen. Farewell, Copenhagen girls, off times I've been cheery. Farewell, Copenhagen girls, that I lost my dearie. I've seen the Hudson, Rhine, and Thames, and the bonny bays of Galloway, but beyond compared across the foam of the hills of Scandinavia. Medicine Show Moose and at Anaco uh, Scottish Folk Festival with James Barbowen, that's you James, right there, and your friend Jacobo from Italy. So I want to talk about how you two got together because it's a collaboration now as well, isn't it? Uh, and you've been doing some gigs all over Europe, yep, so we'll talk right. about yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, we're at Anaco and you've got a great amount of the setup here as well. We've, yeah. We met last year and yeah. talked about that. And you've got a gig in Inverness tonight, so let's talk about that as well, and all sorts of other stuff. But you, I thought you'd give us a song first. That would be good, yeah. This song's called Break My Fall, um, and it goes something like this.
<laughs> but in the Miss Mobile, it's rocking. Did you feel it? I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I didn't realize. I usually shake a lot when I'm playing. I didn't realize, well, I'm rocking the, the whole boat here. Like, the yeah. session is rocking. We've got yeah. James Bow, uh, oh, thank you. Bar Bowen, who is yeah. one of the uh, organizers of Anarcho. Mm. Miss. Thank you. Miss. Uh, cocktails for all mm -hmm. and cheers, cheers guys cheers. Yeah. Yeah, cheers thank you thanks for having us uh, well thanks for having me i mean it really is it's a, a privilege to be here uh and uh james this is kind of like your brainchild in many ways is it well, uh, well partly along, along, along with a few other people yeah. so jim whose site it is and yeah. johnny campbell yeah um we kind of cooked up this idea over the course of the last couple of years and then uh, in the last two years and this year we've we've actually done it yeah, you know, we kind of thought, yeah. okay, we've we've got a site, we've got an idea. Well, we, we know year, some musicians. It was Let's just magic. It really was just magic last year. Yeah. And I'm yeah. so looking forward to find, yeah. finding out who you've all brought to us this year yeah. as well. Yeah. So yeah, a few familiar faces and, so and some new ones. It's Thursday here, and it all kicks off tomorrow about yeah. seven o'clock tomorrow. Yeah, the music will start seven. People seven are arriving Thursday. now, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So here. you're here, <laughs> and you've got things set up, and yeah. uh, the video, the cameras just run out of video so that's a nuisance but the, we're recording the whole thing yeah. so uh you're off to inverness tonight as well eh? yeah we're at the market bar yeah um and we're in con competition with roddy and kate zetter in the cow yard who are also in inverness tonight oh i don't at know the, that. Uh, they played last year at the anarcha folk fest so ah, uh, I do yeah, know them. Yeah, yeah 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 cool um, so, so you're at market bar. that's i mean that's the way you have to do it. I'm the same with Bellatrum. You yeah. have to get as many gigs in as possible yeah. and make yeah. it feasible yeah. to be in this yeah. part of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So that you're doing it. Market Bar is a great place to do so. Yeah, Enjoy I've that. played there a few times. So. Uh, and tell me how you met Yankabo, because yeah. you travel a lot, eh? Well, um, yeah, well, what happened was I was on, on tour in America with Johnny Campbell. Yeah. And we had a gig somewhere, um, and then we had to get a bus at ridiculously early in the morning from Philadelphia. Yeah. So we needed a bed for the night. Okay. And somebody said, you need to talk to Jacopo. Yeah. So we went to Jacopo's house and he welcomed us in and said, fantastic. And nice. we we did all the usual musician thing about, oh, we'll do some gigs. Oh, man, yeah, yeah, okay. and all yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah which, yeah. you know, um, but we, we, we clicked and it was great. And so uh, last year we did a bit, uh, a European tour, a couple of weeks, mostly in Germany and Czech Republic. Nice. Um, last November, yeah. um, and we've just done three weeks on the road, yeah. um, Italy, France, Germany, England, yeah. Scotland. Great. I, I keep saying Jankabo because I've got a friend called Jankabo, it's Jakobo. Yeah. Uh, I'll speak to you in a minute, Jakobo, but before I do, I mean, I asked you, this is the first question I asked you last year, how goes the revolution? We're working on it. It's complex, <laughs> but yeah. No, I mean, you know, I, I mean, what's it's a lot of work to be done? Yeah, eh? what, what's just nice though is po yeah. politics is back on the agenda. It is. I mean, with with the Scottish referendum, yeah. with, with the Brexit referendum, with the general election, yeah, people are starting to talk about, you know, yeah. what what, and, what uh, is going on. And people are uh, they are activated. Yeah, there's yeah. an activation yeah. going on, isn't it? And there? also, the, you know, the genuine idea that we. Y yes, you can vote for, for, you know, whoever you vote for, and that changes yeah, things. Yeah, but um, you can. But you've yeah. also got to do all the hard work on the ground. And the community. And, and level. doing stuff like this brings us together. Yeah. And it's, I mean, yeah. you know, it's a gift. It's an yeah. absolute blessing, you know. Yeah. Absolutely. Tell us about Italy then. I mean, I know you're based in. In the Philadelphia States. now, but how how goes the revolution in, it, in the Italy? The revolution in Italy is slower. It like, must be. It must be like <laughs> it's like it's it's funny for me to watch the process from the outside now yeah. from the US, yeah. which in a way is in a much worse condition. Well, it is, but that uh, but aren't everybody getting up on their back legs and getting things they done? They are, right? but the the level of confusion. The I think life in the US is very complicated mm -hmm. because the level of um, compromise that you have to make. It, life there is is running on a different speed from yeah. Europe. Yeah. Everything is very quick. Everything is very organized. Yeah. And um, I think people are in this kind of uh, the capitalism is very entrenched. Yeah. And then even the people that are questioning yeah. certain things yeah. are find themselves back at work before they know it. Exactly. Right? <laughs> yeah. So like it, it is a very yeah. complicated and uh, sometimes hypocritical position yeah. where like you, you run a lifestyle that is supported and generated by the things that you're trying to take down. Yeah. So like it, it becomes yeah, right. very difficult. I, I'm always very surprised how, how much uh, 
self um, kind of like auto gestion I don't know how to say it, like uh, uh, self management yeah like in, in, in you mm -hmm. know like uh, there's a lot of squat in here there's a lot of like alternative m modes of living yeah. and there are in the US as well but like those are fr completely fringe and out of the yeah. of the degree where it's here like it seems uh, to be it's it more seems integrated to be, it you know? seems to be getting more heart of the matter now yeah. No. Well, I don't know because I'm, I'm, I'm involved in music, and it's always been of the heart you, of the matter. You talk to, yeah. no, it's, I mean, it's the problem that I have that we, we, you know, as, as I say, we've just been lots of places. Mm -hmm. You go and hang out with in, in somewhere in Germany um, or Netherlands or yeah. wherever, and you meet all these fantastic people with great yeah. radical ideas, with yeah. great community involvement, yeah. Yeah. and you think, blimey. It's yeah. all happening, yeah, yeah. but you don't go and meet the normals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, there's, yeah, lot, yeah, there's yeah, a lot yeah. of other but stuff. But I agree with you yeah. that there's something going on. There I mean, people good. are starting to wake up yeah. after a long kind of like drone uh, yeah. out nap, yeah. collective nap. It seems like uh, everybody's starting to say, oh, oh. For, okay. So. We've gone from 40 winks to 40,000 winks, and then we want 40 million winks. Mm. And, then, yeah, exactly. and then we'll all. It'll get to a collective. There'll be a collective point. There'll be a point yeah, there. Yeah. We keep, we Hopefully, keep, we, keep, we keep working. Yeah. And keep just keep talking. keep at it. Yeah. yeah. Jacobo, song for you from yourself. So this song is uh, it's called Multitudes. It's a song that I wrote a couple of years back. It's I, I I was struck profoundly by the fact that many um, the masses all over the world they seem to yearn for something and move and strive to get themselves somewhere. Yeah. And then in Western society, oftentimes it's a dream that it doesn't really exist and sometimes we strive to get ourselves places and then we're not really content with where we are yeah and then so but there's still like this sense of yearning and striving and then for other people in the rest of the world uh, striving means getting themselves out of a situation that might cost them their life and yeah. so like the difference yeah. in scale yeah. you know by by which as humans we are all trying to get ourselves in a place that is more uh, uh, in line with what we think our lives should be for us means certain th kinds of things and for other people means like yeah. for the basic uh, qualities of life and so like and then the masses how much the masses move around the planet and stuff so it's, this song is called multitudes and uh, it's about that and it's become very dear and become very very uh, meaningful in recent uh, months and years so james is playing with me and uh, we we develop some songs together james so Ben bar yeah here in the medicine show miss Multitudes. Multitudes. Multitudes work every day to become who they are not. Multitudes struggle every day just holding on to what they've got. Multitudes meander thousand miles chasing after every dream. Multitudes end up running their own souls deep down in the mainstream. Multitudes of killing one another in the name of stupid gods. A thousand years have gone by, we're still falling for this pointless one. Is there anything we can do to stop this secret mess? I might confess Multitudes are marching to the drums of algorithmic math Multitudes live under constant threat of soulless drones and psychopaths Multitudes cringe at the mere sight of a cute abuse pet. While they don't bat an eye and carry on in front of fellow humans falling, falling to the net. Multitudes love killing one another in the name of stupid gods. A thousand years have gone by, just have fallen for this pointless fraud. Is there anything we can? I might confess. Sous-titrage
Tremendous, guys. Thank you very much. That's Jacobo from Tuscany in Italy and... Uh, via the, the United States now. Via the United States and the equally beautiful Rochdale in... Was it Rochdale? Huddersfield. Huddersfield, I was close to but no cock. Yeah, and... Just on uh, the side of the hill, like. Uh, just <laughs> up, uh, up on the dale. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, thanks, guys. That was great. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Right, thanks.